Welcome back to O's for Off-Road. Um, continue on the C5 and trying to make her light and getting into the Cam S class for autocross. Um, part of that is reducing weight and uh, also not needing the stock seats. So I uh, went and ordered a Sparco. It's the um, Evo S QRT. So that's the small, the smallest seat they make. Uh, it's an FIA approved seat. And uh, well, it's the smallest one they make, so it should fit fine in the vet. Um, I actually called Sparco to ask some questions. They're super nice, super awesome. I was about to order it from them directly uh, until I found out that uh, it was $90 shipping. Uh, so I looked over on Summit Racing and Summit Racing had it for the exact same price. Uh, it said it was gonna be two months before they shipped it, but uh, I knew that it was in stock at the manufacturer. So, um, and they had free shipping on orders over like $900. So. Um, or $800, I don't know, free shipping. Anyway, I got that. Uh, I also, from Summit, ordered the um, hardware kit for the seat. I don't know if I need that for sure, but I figured I'd, I'd, it's $10. I ordered the official side mount, so I'm gonna side mount this. And then I also purchased the, um, the mounting brackets. The, they have two different ones. They have steel and they have aluminum. I went with steel for $75. I probably should have went with the aluminum one to save more weight. And uh, oh, it looks like these actually come with the uh, with some hardware, four bolts. Anyway, so I'm gonna mount this directly to the floor. I'll see how much these weigh. I might swap these out for the aluminum to save weight. I don't know. We'll see what they weigh today, though. But let's see what this. Uh, let's unbox this seat. It just literally just showed up five minutes ago. Really nicely packaged. They put extra packaging on all the wear points. Yeah. That's definitely a small seat. Like it has removable padding. Can't remember. I looked at a lot of seats. Uh, this seat was eight hundred and twenty-five dollars. It's uh, supposed to have fireproof uh, material, and uh, it's FIA certified. So that's really cool. Bottom has pads too. They come right out. The front has another pad that comes out, and uh, this one is. It does have the uh, mounts here for the uh, anti-submarine. And I do have a six point harness. Looks like it's got the uh, seat sticker on here. Everything from Sparco. Nice little wrap there. Nice, it's got a little grip. So that's, that's one thing about the bottom one, it's kind of nice. It's got a little bit of grip on it. It's really cool. Somewhat minimal on the branding, which is cool. Yeah, it's just the race seat. It's got the FIA sticker here. Mounts for the side on both sides. Looks like they're just inner nut certs. Can't take that side off, so I can't see exactly how it's structured in there, but it looks like it's just rib nutted into the uh, fiberglass shell. This thing is pretty light. But uh, I'm definitely going to be measuring this thing. Actually, right now, let's see how much this thing weighs. Fifteen point seven five. Assume you can see that. Yeah, weighs fifteen point seven five. Oh, as it spins in there, it's fifteen point six four. So fifteen point six four. I'm going to write this. Five point six two pounds. Point four four. All right, so this is the passenger seat. 
I've been just putting it in and out of the car because the driver's seat's really heavy. But uh, just to compare these, the Sparco, 15.64 pounds plus 5.62 uh, pounds for the mounts. That's the steel mounts. And then another 0.44 for the hardware. So that's 20, 21 and a half ish pounds. And the passenger or the driver side seat weighs 41.43. So not bad, 20 pounds. That's a, that's a good savings. Um, and that's on the driver's seat, that's counting the, um, uh, the mounts. So that 50, that 41.3 pounds is, uh, is, is counting that. So let's get this thing mocked up or just sit in the car. So I've just got it sitting on the floor right now. I'm gonna probably, I'm definitely gonna mount it up a little bit higher. I'm a small person. I'm 5'11"-ish. Um, this Sparco seat says that, or they, they say that it's up to a 32-inch waist. It's about what my waist is, and yeah, it's it's very snug on my on my hips. Um, actuating the pedals and everything that that works out really well. It's gonna be a little tight. Um, I race sometimes when it's cold, so wearing a sweatshirt might be um, add just enough to make it too tight. But uh, I almost wish that the shoulders were slightly tighter, but they're still pretty good. Um, for comparison, I have an RS5 with uh, sport seats, and it's very snug. And actually, this seat is not quite as snug as my RS5 in the um, or my lats here. And um, but the shoulders are definitely tighter in here. So I'm gonna raise this up a little bit and see what it's like. So I've got it raised up on two two by fours on their side. Um, I still have maybe three inches of headroom, but this feels this feels a lot better for me. Um, I'm a short person, so I really need to be able to see the uh, the corners of the car, and I can. I'm not that high off the ground. I think I'm, I'm a little bit lower than the stock seats right now. Still quite a bit of room in here. I obviously have the car stripped, as you can see. Um, there's, there's nothing in the interior other than uh, the dash is in still. And um, I still haven't completely stripped the doors out, but the panels are off. And uh, yeah, it's got plenty of room. I can shut the door. I still have, well, if the side panel was here, it'd probably be rubbing. Um, and as like a more of an in-depth um, review later on, I'll probably put the door panel back on so you can see what that's like. But for now, this thing's pretty awesome. It's fairly comfortable. Um, it, I mean, I can tell that there's only the tiniest little bit of, of padding under my ass. And uh, my back, I can also tell there's not much padding there. But it's a race car. I do like the little grip bits there. So it actually, I can feel it grabbing my sweatshirt. Um, so that is one of the things when I first started autocrossing, I, I, one of the first things I got was a six point harness because I spent most of my time trying to keep myself in the stock seats because I was sliding around like crazy. Um, I think I gained a considerable amount of time um, just with the seat or with the, with the harness. And um, I was in stock class and I couldn't change the seat but now I can because I'm in cam. So uh, this should be awesome. Weight savings and just a much stronger seat. So I'll show you. I mean, it, it's a lot more difficult to get out of. You see the fitment in here. If I shut the door, you can see that there's you know, decent size gap there and decent bit of headroom there. Now I do have it up on a block right now to 
kind of get the general fitment. Um, I have yet to strip out this side uh, seat belt, but it gives you an idea of how much room there is there. Uh, I do have a my six point harness mount back here. Um, get more videos of that when I do a full review of the seat. But um, yeah, you can you could feel when sitting in it that this is only you know an inch thick and that there's not much padding in the back. But still, I mean, it's, it still feels pretty comfortable. It's not uncomfortable. I'm not going to be in the car very long. Um, probably going to be replacing the uh, seat or the uh, steering wheel. This gives you an idea on this side how much room there is. So almost four fingers width. Um, obviously, my car is stripped, so you know your results may vary. All right, it didn't take me that long, so for you guys running actual door cards, I installed mine, well, I kind of just set it in there. Um, so you get an idea of what it's what it's like. Obviously, the seat's not hard mounted, so it can be moved left to right, but I have it kind of in the middle, and you can see now there's, it's about two fingers width to, the, to this side here. And then on the inside, still about the same width as before. I mean, we still got almost four fingers on this side, so, you know, the seat can be moved more towards the center of the car. Um, no, that's really dirty, but give you an idea of how it fits in there. Uh, walk myself out. Um, that's the, gives you an idea of how it uh, fits with that uh, the door placard in there, and there's also plenty of room down there. Obviously, this is the small. It is. It is really a small seat. All right. Well, uh, thanks for watching. I hope this helps some people get an idea of uh, the Sparco Evo QRT. This is the S, the small. Um, in a C5, uh, this is particularly a Z06, but the C5 will be the same, uh, Corvette. So uh, I guess subscribe if you want to see a little better review of this. Once I have it mounted, once I've used it more, I'll uh, get a little better in-depth review. If you have any questions about how it uh, fits, I know there's a lot of questions about will this seat fit in my car. So hopefully this will help you. Uh, obviously with the door cards, I, right now I can pass my fingers through there. And I can, I can slide the seat way over if I need to um, and get a lot more space over here. And there's a lot of space above me. Um, I have the, the seat pretty low. I'll probably mount it another inch or so higher. But there's still a considerable amount of height above me. Bear in mind, I'm a short person, so I'm only 5'11". But uh, yeah, thanks for watching. and. Uh, Come back soon to see uh, what this thing's like. I'll let you know. See you.